practicing on our own at home. Maybe not always as much fun, but I can tell you I've done a lot of it myself. Um, I even practice in the uh, shopping centres or when I'm out doing the groceries with a trolley or what in America would call a car. Um, and learning to move this stationary object without actually have to push and pull. It makes a really good fun practice. So if I pull the chair, oh look, the legs come off the floor. If I push it with my arms, the legs come off the floor. But if I physically move my body into it by keeping my arms consistent, when I move my body, the chair wants to move. I put swing position so that I can move it backward. And I move it backward. I don't have to bring the chair in and whack my ankles. I just move. And I can, I can do this to music. Shopping trolleys are great because they have that bar across the bottom here. And if you actually pull it, you run it into your legs. If you actually walk without leading it, you kick it. And you're like, oh, damn. So I move my body and then it actually goes forward and back. The same as what I would do with another person. And trust me, it's really, really good practice because it gives you good stability, good control, and it stops this action. Like my arms might extend a little bit, but they're not pushing and pulling, right? Because I'm absorbing my own body and then making connection with whatever it is that I want to connect to get that movement. Then if I wanted to do that as a side-to-side -side drill or a lateral movement from this way and I wanted to turn, I'll turn the chair this way because I think it might be a little easier to cup underneath because I... It's not tall enough, but if I try to push and pull it, it's going to go all over the place. But I get a nice connection, and then I think I can move forward, and then I can move back. Then if I swing, and I swing, I'm getting it because I'm not pulling the chair. See, because that would be pulling, this would be rotating. So I actually open up my legs, that allows my partner to come through and there I am and I can connect with the other side and then do it again. It, just try practicing these things with the stationary object and learn how to move it with your body because if I wanted to move in and out I could and then I say I want the chair to come with me, I didn't have to pull it and then I move in and out and then I move. So it doesn't matter leader or follow, it just helps you be aware. And I can even put music on and then I can move. You see how I rotated my whole body? I didn't pull the chair to get to go around. I rotate my body and the chair comes with me. Exactly what I'm going to do with my follow. And if you do these things, I promise you they will enhance your ability to lead or follow.